But several years ago, I'm going to say six or seven years ago now, I was giving a presentation to the Rogers Lowell Chamber of Commerce on how to use focus groups to improve your bottom line in your business. When I got done with that presentation, a young lady came up to me named Heather uh, Keenan. And Heather said, hey, this Friday we have a fundraiser called HOPE, Helping Oncology Patients Excel, and we need an auctioneer. We'd like for you to be our auctioneer. I said, well, I've never done auctioneering before. My auctioneering experience up to that point had been going to, going to cattle sales with my dad and then going around with my buddies around back, and blah, 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 you know, mimicking the auctioneer. So I said, it's Wednesday, your event's Friday, where's your current auctioneer? Red flag. Well, at the time she told me that uh, Dick Trammell, who was very involved in their organization, was supposed to be their auctioneer, but his wife was fighting cancer at the time and he couldn't be there. Well, I had to say yes then, right? And so I said yes, but Dick agreed to meet with me for breakfast to mentor me on what to do, and he did that, met with me. And so what does anybody do when they don't know what they're doing? They Google it, right? So I Googled how to be an auctioneer. And sure enough, YouTube videos popped up on how to be an auctioneer. And I watched, I watched a charity auctioneer out of California do an event. And I watched another video, YouTube video of another one. So I went into this event Friday night for cancer patients. And somehow they told us they wanted 23000 I think we raised 26000 and this kind of just snowballed. K-Life and Pathfinders and you name it, just started calling. I looked up about a year later, raised hundreds of thousands of dollars. And I thought to myself, here the people who need this money the most are counting on me. And I don't have a clue what I'm doing. So I decided to go to auctioneering school. So I researched you know, who's one of the top auctioneers in the country, What's one of the best auctioneering schools out there? Sure enough, right here in Dallas, Texas, Mike Jones did a two-week auctioneering school. So I went down to Texas, and it was intense. 